Hello, my lovelies. <coughs> Ew, that was disgusting. Anyway, I still feel under weather, so we're gonna do the shadows a little differently. I'm only gonna do one spread for the entire um, element or whatever you're calling it. And I'm going to be using my oracle cards to dictate where that's all leading to. So, it's all, so these, the, uh, yeah, it's gonna be smaller. I'm sorry. I'm just like, <laughs> like I got a flea shot, and I think I got like flu-like symptoms. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> like I just want to why? That's uh, like I just want to wear my hair down, which I never do. But it's like, uh, it's so. All right, water signs, you're up first with the High Priestess Reverse, right? Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and Jupiter. Yeah, Venus and Jupiter. This is, sorry, I didn't get, yeah. Sorry, I'm literally like, oh my God, I need some light. If I didn't have to go to work, I'd just be chugging some night quill right now and just sleeping this shit off. Uh. Anyway, water signs. If this resonates with you, a good deal. If not, don't worry about it. This is just a card game after all. Right? Right. Just boop your nose and away we go. Calling the storm. Somebody had this? I think in the last, um read I did but I, like I can't remember now but you're calling the storm I think that's actually the last card in this deck too no 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 there is 32 cards in this okay so calling the storm the moon phase is the third quarter and this stage is bargaining Power comes not from the inside, but from the connection and integration to a greater whole. The visual see the shaman woman wears an antler's hat. That is written so weird. Dresses in crimson and brown and holds her crow-headed staff to the storm. Autumn leaves spiral out of control around her as the whirlwind shakes the world. Pull and release, a push to the limit. The eye is the only peaceful place that can be is the sentence. Going dark, there is time to find and release our power, like a spring that had been compressed, to the point it has lost the memory of motion and movement, yet there is power inside it. Finding it is called empowerment. It starts from the belief in our power, in our ability to cope, to fight, to endure, to overcome a challenge. However, too often, we are encouraged to see empowerment as something that happens only within, in our psychological space. We are not necessarily islands. We can borrow the power of the world around, the context, the environment, the expectations. We do not control the storm, we just call it. To call the storm, we need not to fear it. And this is what will make us strong. After the storm, there is always sun. So, if the sky has been gray for too long, it's time not to fear the storm, but to embrace it. It'll grow up and devour our chains and our jailers, and it'll hurt us as well but it'll be healthier than just stare at the chilly rain what shouldn't be staring at the chilly rain but it should be healthier than just staring at it. yeah it should be staring this grammar i swear we can restart only after we let ourselves end hmm that's what you got water signs so far right so that's your little Memento of information. Let's see. We're just gonna lay these out completely different. Cancer. Scorpio. Oh, well, that one just popped up, but that's Pisces. <laughs> oh, god damn it. Okay, anyway. So, I'm gonna have all three of you laid out here and we'll do you all together. Cancer, you got the King of Wands. Scorpio, you have the Three of Swords. Pisces, you have the Ten of Swords. Hmm. You know, the Call and the Storm, yes. 
calling in the storm to make proper judgments, especially with ones that might have affected the past. Calling in your power to release you from some sort of chain that might be holding you up a little bit, Scorpio. And Pisces, you might be trying to call in this storm to deal with some after effects of a betrayal, right? Right. Okay, so Cancer, you got the King of Swords, King of Wands, with the King of Swords, actually. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. You guys might be a little bit troubled, if you will. But you ain't saying shit. And I feel like you are... You might be being a dick to somebody. I don't fucking know, but that's what it kind of looks like. It's like... It's like almost recognizing that your power to judge over what happened back in the day, like that nostalgia feeling, you know, it's kind of like your harsh words, possibly, maybe somebody said something harsh to you, maybe somebody like, it kind of drove you a certain way to be bitter and shit, but all that bitterness was laced with a good offer, but it's like almost someone went out the door. Scorpio, with your three of swords right here, this shit has you pissed, so... Okay, <laughs> like severely, and you're ready to go. You're just done. <coughs> like you're cutting the shit off. You aren't trying to deal with it. You know, I actually work with the Scorpio chick. She is so fucking extra. I love her. Like it totally threw me off she was a Scorpio because I was not expecting it. But oh my God, I like her. I, I really like her. Like, a lot. And she is just so extra. And it's like, she lives her extra life. And it's like, oh my god, I love you. But yeah, Scorpio, you're being a bit selfish with where you're going, too. Like, you're, you might even run out to get some extra booty somewhere. Right? But if you're not, you're just in this energy of just like, you know what? I will just go up and doink you with this wand, you know? Pisces, what you got? You're looking for information after this... I guess betrayal, that's what you're calling the storm into. Um, you know, you're kind of sitting there for a while and you're looking over like, eh, what's happening, you know? Um, coming out of that isolated state where it felt like you were hung up on things and you couldn't move forward, which in reality, you probably might have had yourself stuck there, not realizing you weren't letting anything uh, pass on or die off or change, right? But you're looking for info, Pisces, in order to release some shit out your brain okie dokes i don't know i kind of like this you guys let me know if you like this and i might start doing it this way not that i don't like it the other way but it's like this one's kind of cool because at least i can see what y'all are doing individually i don't know scorpio you like it just had me fucking cracking up because it's just like damn it scorpio <laughs> <coughs> all right cancer your issues with this Possible King of Swords and this Ace of Pentacles. Let's see. Someone was trying to choke a fucking bear, or a lion in this case. Um, smother it, if you will, with the Strength Card Reverse. Oh lord. Okay, like... Mm. Cancer, I almost want to say someone saw through some bullshit. Just like, yeah, I'm giving you a hug, you just think you're still breathing, you know? Someone coming out and realizing, you know, like, the lion's still in the position where this dude is, and the gnome's on this one. And it's like, this person tried to choke the lion out, now they're, like, it, walking up like a happy little gnome, and this dude's like, I'm gonna lace this shit with poison. As soon as this dude touches <laughs> just a little bit of nutmeg, and he'll die. I just made that up. I don't know if that's true. Mmm. Yeah, cancer, like, you might have had somebody who is looking back on what the fuck happened and are kind of realizing that, you know, uh, someone was trying to choke him out and give him very little, and that's why they this person just started disrespecting him, honestly. Treat him like they're less than a gnome, if you will. Uh, much happier by themselves. So that's what you're looking at this week, Scorpio. You want to actually have a discussion, even after the fight, even though you ran in like the Knight of Wands. I think you want to resolve shit that's going on around you. Boy, that, that fish in your cup just pissed you off the wrong way. Mm. Mm -hmm. it, it, it totally got under your skin. Um. Hmm.
Like Queen of Pentacles is alone. She stared at her pentacle. I don't think. Mm, I want to say you want to be focused on your coin, your money. You just be like, no. Like fuck these emotions. I mean, like if I have to come in and like have a discussion with people. And they leave me coming out feeling like I should be offended they left a fish in my cup. You damn straight, I'll start focusing on what I'm getting at that point. Like, fuck it. You know? Alright, Pisces. You want to go somewhere. You just decided, I'm getting on this boat. This is where I'm going to go. But that requires you walking away from somebody. Rather than communicating. Like, you're already going elsewhere. Like, did you leave somebody behind before and now communications opened up with them? Yay. That's big. Holy shit. But yeah, that's what you're looking at, Pisces. Like, you might have traveled far, left somebody behind. Possibly, it might even be somebody you cared about, too. Because I feel like they're missing you. And there might be a flow of communication coming up. But... Okay, that's like the shadow of judgment for all three of y'all water signs. You like this video? Hell, if you if you enjoyed the spread so far, because uh, I kind of did. This was different. Um, let me know. Hit me up. Like my shit. Subscribe to my shit. With whatever you want to do. I will see you guys later. Love your faces. Bye-bye.